after governor of central bank was said to have a new embezzle stamp duty money now it's accountant general of the federation stealing 109.5 billion era and EFCC was only able to recover 30 billion from this man on plea bargain what happened to the remaining 79.5 billion era you see this thing with politicians always stealing public funds it's becoming too rampant somebody that is supposed to be jailed with the whole of his family they only sacked him allowing him to go scot free like what no wonder bandits are negotiating with government and giving them terms and conditions on how to release innocent kidnap victims in a society where criminals have been celebrated who don't want to become one imagine look at our health system very very poor no proper health facilities for treatment and funny thing at the slightest headache these useless and wicked politicians runs abroad to go and get themselves treated leaving you and i to be treated in these hospitals and meanwhile most of these hospitals are dead trap in disguise not just that look at our educational system nothing to write home about monies allocated for public schools do not even get across to them you get hanged only god knows where let me tell you their children are not going to any of those public schools their children school abroad leaving you and i to go to all these schools they will tell you textbook is not for sale they are selling it free education public schools is a lie you will still pay school fees and then nobody is saying anything all these wicked politicians did not travel on these roads to see all the bad roads that we have in nigeria most of them take flights they even own private jets who be your papa again and then nothing is being done to these wicked politicians they keep stealing look at a whole accountant general of the federation that is supposed to be keeping stock of our money you see the same person stealing it with the way everybody shouting no money no money Oh, I'm tired. It is well.